previous uh, capital improvements list. We have tried to, in working with engineering and planning, we've tried to uh, have it coincide more with our, our five-year capital improvement plan that engineering has put together. Uh, but there are some additional projects on here. The, the uh, summary includes a short-term or one-year plan. Some of those are projects we would uh, suggest that we make applications for all that for us. Some of them are not, but it's, it's kind of on all, of our, all of our projects. Can I just ask about number 25? Didn't we just do that this year? Why is that big number there? Do we just do that? Is it that big number? Do you know what it's called? No, that's my geez, that's that's very customary. I hope that's a mistake. That's not a mistake. The reason that we do ours is just a mistake. We have our budget process. We follow a uh, our, our fiscal year, June to flood. That's right. Um, they follow the annual year, so it's not there because we're doing it currently. Okay, I sort of scared when I saw that. Okay, thank you. So anyway. Um, Really, I think the, the intent here is to bring this forward because I think the end of the month is the deadline and we had to, we had to bring it forward in order to get it submitted on time. Um, we do have some projects on here where we would you know, we come back later requesting permission or direction to apply for, yeah. for funding. But the ADA is a lot of that's one that's not on here. <laughs> it, is, it is something that is, is proposed to be done. But I don't know unless you have specific questions or other ideas that are that are that you would like to add to this, uh, we we recommend approval. Uh, so let's just leave that number change on page two. And it's not too long. Well I tell you what the look at T sixty on the list. You have a five year schedule? Yeah. Well, okay, so it goes into the first is the one year, and then they require a five-year plan. So let's get into that. Well, so there's also a reservation taken off of the uh, airport CIP, too. It was adopted a few months ago. One of the concerns, and like, it's not on here, I wanted to see it in the five-year. I just think we have got to start. We told Red Lake just to have their piece of that road what Eastern Bypass done by 2019. And we need to do, be prepared to do our part of that. I do not want to see Red Ledge is sitting down there whining that they need two or three more years because we haven't done our part yet. And I think we ought to be doing our part. I think it's, sometimes we ask our developers and others to do things we're just not even willing to do for ourselves. So I just, I, I don't know if it's in our five-year plan, but I think it ought to be. It is. That, uh, that's all I have. So this is in the piece area. across the cemetery. Oh, I was talking about the other part. I don't know about that. Well, it's not the south part. Yes. That's our part. That's, that's what needs to do. Within five years, but within two years. Uh, generally, when there's improvements they all are putting in, uh, and I don't know if it's the case with that particular road, but there's a portion that they're required put in and if it's oversizing, we we pay a part of that actually. Well but that road that road is incumbent on the city to provide. It's the cemetery. I don't know if that part of the cemetery is in our five year plan. I'm trying to I didn't see this I don't think it is. No I know and I don't like the idea of dumping all that traffic on the road to go through Coyote Lane or down in front of GR Smith. That's why I wrote it for the delay anyway because Seems like it would be a huge disservice to the people up in that area. He says he got the uh, item on the medium term number two. East bypass T58 550 East to Highway 40 is in our. Is in our but that's the bypass of which you've used. Well, that's a deal with it, don't think. East yeah. bypass, we wind up size it. So we have to spend that one up just on their section, so that doesn't even count our section. We bypass. Well, you say it says private local funds. The majority be private. They'll just be. We'll pay for the upsizing of it. 
Three million? If there's the same issue, why don't we, there's a piece of the that's our area. Why don't we, we're spending money to do their end and we haven't got the middle done. Because we had talked about selling it and having the middle well, and now we have the middle, so we have to. No, look, that, that middle portion is in our, is in our master plan. Uh, it's, it's part of it is going to be done and going to be done by the, uh, by the city if we own that piece and we develop that property. I'm trying to find out. We've got East Bypass, Red Ledges, Center Street, uh, to 1050. That's the Red Ledges portion. Red Ledges, we have East Bypass, 550 to Highway 40. That's the other portion of the that we are in the middle. We're, we're, we're 550 to 1200 East. Required developers to do the two ends to nowhere. I don't see it. I don't see it. I guess it's not in here. They don't hook up. But my hope has been that uh, a couple things might happen there. In, in my ideal world, we would apply for a smaller bit of rent, get a million dollars of <coughs> assistance to construct that. Been here enough for two years. Yeah, the fun. other part of that component is that I would I would want to go to the corporate preservation fund and use the money from that to acquire pay for the right of way. Which I, which I requested we get a request in to a year and a half ago, we haven't. Or I guess the third option is if we decide <laughs> we want to sell it for development at some future time, but that's time to sell that. But yeah. that, that reduces the proceeds that the city gets from the sell of that if there's an obligation to build that road. I thought there wasn't even any money in there. We still have a ton of property to buy on the west side. Yeah, uh, Mike can answer this better, but my understanding is that they are in the hole on that and until they sell any surplus some yeah, so it doesn't look like there's any hope for our getting anything on the east side. If we're trying to get the west side, urgent to get you out. Mm -hmm. I guess, I guess my my feeling here. What is it you got to turn in right away? Well, we need to turn in this uh, the one yeah, year, the whole the, the whole thing. But but really, I mean, unless we were going to ask for CIB or CDBG money for that portion, it's not really going to. It's but not going really to mm -hmm. not have a qualifies for that. I um, no. There are some projects that are qualified. For, for that one, for that one, that, that road would not qualify. So there's so there's no reason to put it on this list. Uh, I, yeah, no. I mean we could we could go forward and ask for CIB funding for that road. It, which would be a moment to start asking for funding on the two ends. You just showed it to me. Uh, no. 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 It's, it's, it's on the list. Uh -huh. Thank you. It's on the list, but it's not shown for CDBG or it's okay. the source isn't shown. Right. The other option that we have is, as we update the master uh, the capital facilities plan is we could uh, designate that segment as eligible for impact fees because it is a road improvement that would be uh, facilitating growth. Hey, but that means. decreases the impact fee that we charge. Well, let me be outrageous here, I guess. We've been talking about this. Ever since Red Lake, this was one of the first issues I faced. <laughs> and I spent quite a bit of time working through that. And we made them come to the table without any more delays. You have the road bill 2019. I did that on purpose. I'll still be a council in 2020. I may not. Probably not. So I want to see them do it. But I want to have us done our part. I've been saying that. Bring it up, bring it up. Okay, I request that the city staff come forward with two or three alternatives or whatever and how they propose to get that road started by 2019. So as I think it's an imperative. I think it, we want all that and needs to come on out. That was why Red just was asked to do it what, eight years ago. And as Richie's Whatever they do, they need to consider the role. We need to do our part. That's all I'm saying. And we just keep talking about. So that's that's the I mean, that, that's the purpose of an impact fee is if if we need an improvement in before a development because the developer if they come develop that piece of property they would be obligated to put in that portion. But if we as a city need that portion in before those individual developments come in and, and get those in. That's, that's part of the purpose of the impact the act is so that we can collect money from growth and put that in. And, and well, we know that there's going to be an increase. As, as we looked at 
selling that to provide money for another purchase we were looking at, we were looking at getting a lot less money because they were going to have to do the road. Let's just get the road in. And if you can impact it, that's what I want to see brought to us. How can it be part of impact? How much is the projected cost to do it? Some of these dream things that Mark's hoping for, I hope he gets, but let's at least address what they could be and how we apply for them, when we apply for them, and why aren't we applying already to that other road fund? I mean, it's, we're, we're at the end of the list, but, but we'll never be anything but the end if we never turn it in. Yeah. Well, we can, we can do that. We're working on that last part right now. We're hoping to have a draft here in the next month and a half uh, to look at, and, and we would have those numbers of, of what that would do to our impact fee to collect money and get that built. The other, the other side of that, though, I want to just make sure you understand both sides, is that, is that, that sometimes what that can do is it can take a developer's responsibility to build that road, where he would be paying for that and accounting for that in his development, and then it spreads that cost over all of the growth in the community. So it almost gives him a discount on that, that improvement through his. Yes, don't you just need to pay for it for our part? We don't need to pay for it for the impact part of our part. But if, but if the timing is, if you're saying, I want that road to go from where they end all the way through, if the timing doesn't work right, out because on those other things. I mean, I don't think he's referring to that part. So. Anyway, our, our part. Why don't we do our part? Okay, so you're not saying get it all the way through. No. You're saying do that. Do well, that. what I keep hearing is we don't know. What I heard when we were looking, a uh, developer looking at that, was we don't know where it needs to hook on. Well, maybe the developer needs to hook on where we end ours. Why is it up to the developer to tell us where our road is going to be? I, I, you know, developers keep telling us too much what they want instead <laughs> of us. I keep hearing general plan and, and we keep doing all these things that aren't even in it. So let's, yeah, let's do another one, but let's follow it. <laughs> so, yeah, um, we, uh, I, think, I think we don't generally be aligned with where we want that road. If that piece of property is our piece of property, we want to make sure that uh, we get the most value out of it. Though. We need to understand what we want to do with that property and design it in the right place and then the next developer. We'll need to tie it where, where we are. There, there you go. Does the council might be making changes to that cap to approve the plan if you'll leave it like it is and get approved tonight? Just to mend that one number. Okay. Yeah, I, yeah I'll, have to, I'll have to check the part. I'm looking at this and I need to understand what we need to do. We'll need a motion the council would like to do and I'll make a motion that I would like to approve. I'm not sure I say it right. I'd like to approve um, Hebrew City's capital improvement portion of the Marin Consolidated Plan with the change of that number on line 25 in the one year list of items. Councilmember Potter to approve the Hebrew City's improvement portion of the Mount Social Agreement of all the amendments. Second, Councilmember Crinton. Do you have a discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Uh -huh. Anybody opposed? Thank you. I'd like to count the Premier Oscar's year.